Okay, I hope this is recording. Uh, I'm going to just try and record this quick video to show you how to get the data off your tablets uh, and, and show you how to get that off your tablets and then upload it to a place where I can then get it, pull it back into the central database and then be able to export a master file. So I don't have a tablet with me. I'm going to show you on my phone. It is an Android phone. It may not be the same version of Android. The process is largely similar. Some of the very specifics may be a little different. So what you need is your tablet and you need the USB cable that comes to charge it. Very importantly before you try this please make sure that the tablet has been turned off and then turned back on uh, since the last time you um, entered any data. For some reason it just needs to re-index or something on restart so that all the files will transfer properly over to your computer. So once you have your tablet on, just plug in the USB cable to the tablet and the other end to the appropriate spot on your computer. I'm doing this on my, my laptop. It should be fine on Mac, Windows. I have Linux here. Uh, I know it's not the most common file uh, computer system, but the process is largely similar. Again, the details are a little funny. On the tablet, you may see uh, a little icon uh, or I may just give you a message saying USB plugged in. What do you want to do? So mine says, uh, sorry, it says Android system USB charging this device. If I tap that, uh, it says tap for more options. And if I tap appropriately, it gives me this list. And yours may not have all the same uh, items here, and it may have something called. Uh, media transfer protocol instead of transfer files. If it has transfer files, you tap that. If it has media transfer protocol or MTP, you tap that one. And so I'm doing that right now. And at that point, uh, it goes away. My computer, you see, just said it recognized the computer, uh, recognized my Moto Z is the name of this, this phone over here. And, and then it showed up for me over here in the left of my file browser window. For you, with Windows, maybe it pops up in the bottom corner, or Mac, it might pop up. Um, you maybe see an icon appear on the desktop or something like that. But either way, find the tablet, Lenovo, whatever it says, and just click on it to get into it. And if you see two things, the one that says internal storage or internal shared storage is the one that you want. And when you open it up, you'll see a whole bunch of folders most of them are related to the various apps that are on there and some of them are about the Android file system. But either way you want to scroll down until you find the GeoODK folder. And the very simplest thing that we want to do is to just drag that whole folder off the uh, tablet file system and somewhere onto your computer. So I'm just going to move my file window to the side oops, a little bit and I happen to have another uh, just another folder open and this is my documents folder right here and I'm literally just going to drag that over and depending on how much stuff you have in there you might have quite a bit of stuff if you've done a lot of properties it may take a little while you'll see a little progress bar or a wheel or somewhere indicating that things are transferring just make sure you wait until that's complete if you know it's important because if you stop the process you'll only get part of the files um, also Although not strictly necessary, it's probably a good idea to keep the tablet awake and don't let it go to sleep while the files are transferring just on the odd chance that it will interrupt the process. So de definitely sit up near your computer and make sure the process is happening and finishes successfully. And once that's done, you can eject the, uh, the tablet connection. You can unplug it completely from the computer um, like so. And then you're basically done with the tablet at that point. You can turn it off. Now, in order to share this, there's a variety of ways we can do this, but I figure the easiest way is for me just to have set up a Dropbox on the uh, LMHS internship uh, shared Google Drive. So if you log into your Google Drive, you go over to your shared drives, and then you find the one that says LMHS internship, and then in there, there's a new folder called Data Dropbox. And what I want you to do is to open that up, right now it's blank, right click somewhere in there, and then click new folder and then write your name. So I'm just putting Dr. Ula there. So that's me. And then I double click on that to go into it. And this is the folder where I, it says drop files here. We're going to drag and drop that whole GeoODK folder right there. So here's my GeoODK folder. And I'm going to drag and drop over here. 
and it'll take a little bit of time depending on how much stuff you have in there down in the bottom right corner you'll see a, a process progress bar and uh, it'll say however many minutes left so depending on the strength of your internet how much stuff you have it may take a little longer or a little shorter but just wait until you see the basically the little green checkbox like you just saw it happen uh, as soon as that's green everything's uploaded and we're good to go so once you've done that, send me an email saying I've uploaded my GeoODK folder to the Google Drive. And when I have all of your latest stuff up there, I will then go through the process that I showed some of you in the lab where I amalgamate everything into the um, ODK briefcase app into the central database that stores everybody's files. And once everything is amalgamated, I will then export a spreadsheet file and I will upload that as um, well what I'll do is I'll process it a little bit and then I will upload either one or a series of Google Sheets uh, spreadsheets where I've separated out by neighborhood or by street and then we will use that we'll do priorities by street and we will use that as a template to do the rest of the historical research. Now, Jim is working hard and has been working with some of the other students and other interns to get a bunch of the original um, archi archival material scanned or, and or digitized and uploaded hopefully somewhere on this very same Google Drive so that you will have access to that stuff. And again, we also have access to the archives of the San Diego Union Tribune that we can search through our SDSU library. And between all of that and partnering up with the public history students, uh, etc., we'll figure out exactly which um, parts of the uh, research you guys will all do. And I'll set up the spreadsheet so that it's clear where you would add which specific kind of data or information in there. And then we'll figure out which is the best way to deal with that, parsing it up between you all in terms of uh, you know sharing the workload across all four of you interns and the public history students, uh, etc. Um, and so we'll, we'll solve sort of a work in progress, as you can see, everything is. I'm here working from home. So we'll figure out that as sort of as we go along, and we'll just sort of be in touch. In the meantime, if you have any questions, you can always email me. My cat over here. He's clawing <laughs> on his little cat bed. Uh, you can e email me, and if you really need to, we can set up a time to do a video conference or phone call or something like that to walk you through anything that's unclear. But hopefully this video uh, sort of helps you figure out the basics of just getting the data off your tablet, and that's really the first step that we need to accomplish right now. Okay, hope you're all uh, taking care, staying safe and healthy, and... Um, not going through too much craziness. I know this is a, a big crazy time and, and again uh, there's a lot of important things we need to be attending to so this stuff can all wait if it's not a priority right now. Don't worry about it. Figure out all the basic stuff and when you're ready we can get back onto this thing. Alright, so I'll be in touch again uh, in the near future.